we want to find the amplitude for y equals 8 sine x. Now how are we going to do that? Well, you need to know what the range is. And if you've already figured out the pattern, superb, make sure you use that. However, if you haven't figured out what the pattern is yet, we want to create a table of values. Now, if it's like other problems, and you've watched of mine, or if this is the first time, I kind of do a set group of values for x. I always use 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and then 2 pi. Now, what we know about that is, if we use those, then for sine, 0 is 0, pi is 0, and 2 pi is 0. We know that pi over 2 is 1, and 1 times 8 is 8. And this one's negative 1, and negative 1 times 8 is going to be negative 8. So I know here's my range. It's from negative 8 to 8. So that means that my y max is going to be 8, and my y min is going to be minus 8. Now why is that important? Remember we have a formula for the amplitude, and it tells us it's the absolute value of half times the x-coordinate minus the y-coordinate. So what does that give us? Well that gives us 1 half times 8 minus negative 8, and then that'll give us half of 16, and what is half of 16? Well that's 8, the absolute value of 8 is still just 8. So our amplitude for this one is 8. Now what you may have noticed in that process is this number is the same as the number out in front of our actual function.